Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, trying to make sense of this crazy Arizona market. And today we're going to take a look at the firm that's moved their headquarters from California to Arizona, and they're building what's known as 3D homes. And you've heard about this before, but I'm going to share with you a video where they show you exactly how they do it. To me, it's fascinating. And they're down in Casa Grande where they're building homes that started about 280,000 and go up to about 365. And so they can make the homes more affordable because they don't have as much labor. And what labor they do have, they can pay them more. And what's happening is they moved over from California here and they said they can build a 3D home in 60 days. And they're called Diamond Edge. And this is what the homes look like. You know, they certainly look like the rest of the homes you see in the neighborhood. Nothing out of the ordinary there. And uh, this one is uh, 259.9. That's where they start. So it's uh, we're going to take a look at exactly how they build these. So bear with me while I fire up this video. And let's see. Let's move over and take a peek here. I'm going to start it from the beginning. Here we go. Diamond Age is automating new home construction for the production housing industry, solving for the massive labor shortage plaguing the home construction industry. Diamond Age is backfilling the labor shortage with an automation system that will offset 55% of the labor required to build a new home. The solution is Factory in the Field. Factory in the Field sets up in the housing development, enveloping each concrete foundation, creating three-dimensional control of the entire home site. A cohort of seven robotic platforms sets up day after day and shares a suite of 26 robotic tools, maximizing utilization of CapEx. On day one, Site A, the first platform sets up. On day two, Site A, the 3D print tool is attached to begin 3D printing of walls. The same day on Site B, the second platform sets up. On day three, Site A, the 3D printing is finished and the quality assurance scanning tool attaches to create an as-built three-dimensional CAD model of the home to replace the architect's original CAD drawing of the home. This as-built data is fed into the robot to drive all future actions. Next, the cutting tool is attached to begin cutting all the openings for windows, doors, electrical, and plumbing connections. Also on day three, Site B has the 3D print tool attached to begin 3D printing of walls. And on day three, Site C, the third platform sets up. On day four, Site A, the wall texturing tool is attached to finish the inside walls with plaster or gypsum drywall material. On day four, Site B, 3D printing is finished and QA scanning and cutting take place. Day four, Site C has the 3D print tool attached to begin 3D printing of walls. Day four, Site D, the fourth platform sets up. This process is repeated sequentially for seven platforms, each day having a tool leapfrog over to a new home site to begin its construction activity, creating an assembly line in the field where the tools move instead of the product. Once platform number one has completed a home, it breaks down and sets up on a new home site to become number eight, number two becomes number nine, and so on and so on. Each platform lives on a home site for 12 days from setup to takedown, enabling 250 homes per cohort per year to be delivered. Diamond Age technology takes the dirty work off people and leaves the high value, high paying work for them. A new era of construction jobs is created, attracting a new generation of workers. Construction cost goes down. Cycle time is radically reduced, increasing capital efficiency. Home builders make more money. Consumers get less expensive homes. And Diamond Age solves the attainable housing problem. Well, what do you think? Is this the future? I mean, obviously, they're not going to be building great big expensive homes in Paradise Valley, but I do like that I see that they can A, build them quicker, and B, they don't need as many people, but the people that they have, they pay more. And they have 160 people working for them right now. So they came over here simply because labor was cheaper. But uh, it looks like an interesting process. 
And uh, I like to watch and follow and see how much this expands. How big can 3D printing get? You, know, you can't build multifamily apartments, but you can probably build duplexes and patio homes. So it's just another interesting technology that's out there. I know that the 3D printing world is growing like crazy for little tiny things. So I thought I'd share that with you. I hope you like it. Do me a favor and smash that like button.